Hi Sagittarius, how are you? Welcome to your horoscope psychic tarot reading for the month of October 1st through the 15th of 2019. Thank you for listening and watching. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel, like this video, comment and share with your friends and family. Hit the bell next to the subscribe button so you get notification and make sure the two bars show up above the bell so you get notification every time I go live and upload a brand new video. And if you'd be interested in a personal reading from me, definitely check out my website, lamartownsandtarot.com, where you can purchase your reading directly from my website, and within 24 hours, I will email you back, letting you know that I received your payment that will get your reading done the same day, within one to three days, typically sooner than two to three days, okay? Also, you can call me or text me at 703-791-9162 as well. And let's get right into it and see what's in store for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and all placements in between for the month of October 1st through the 15th of 2019. Let's get into it. <laughs> what is in store? For the zodiac sign Sagittarius for October 1st through the 15th of Last we have the Ten of Wands. Could be due to going through a lot of stress. Feeling like there's a lot of obstacles, a lot of resistance against you in terms of reaching a goal in some way, shape, or form, Sag. I get the chariot though, so you're making moves, you're making waves. Some of you could be dealing with water signs, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. But you are definitely making moves. You're definitely making waves. You're definitely on your way to change, Sagittarius. You're on your way to something new. I feel like in terms of your living situation, in terms of your life structure, possibly in terms of your job, your career, relocation, <clears throat> Three of one or three of coins here. With the hierophant. Next to the devil. I feel like your issue could be Sharing your goals with other people um, or allowing other people to come in and shift your goals or aspirations. You know, it's like you're really excited about something sad. You're telling someone about it. And maybe they're not so excited for you. And they're like, yeah, why don't you do this instead? You know, and somehow their energy transmits to you and, you know, it, it, you know, it becomes a toxic situation here, I feel. Toxic relationship. So definitely be careful of who's not clapping for you, even if they seem like they are. A wolf in sheep's clothing here. All right. <clears throat> 
I get the nine of wands because I feel like there's something where a lot of you feel like there's so many obstacles, issues in your way because of the people you have around you and their kind of Debbie Downer energy or Debbie Downer syndrome. Or it's due to maybe a Debbie Downer syndrome within yourself. But I feel like it could be due to mainly fear. It could be due to root chakra issues, grounded issues, not being grounded issues in this case, I guess. Uh, you know, it, it stems from insecurity, feeling like you're not enough, you know, feeling like you're never going to be enough. This is that Ten of Wands further showing up here with the Nine of Wands. Even though, Sadsville, you're making moves, you're making waves, you're making goals, like, but you just can't let the haters, you can't let the one or two or three people who say you're not making waves, who, you know, aren't acknowledging, you know, or seemingly aren't acknowledging the, the strides you're making. Don't let that get to you. <clears throat> All right? Don't let other people's projections get to you. Definitely could be making strides in love for a lot of you as well. Love could actually be moving quite fast for you, Sagittarius. Some of you could be in a relationship with an air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. There's like a good situation going on here. Some of you could be bringing a child into the world. There could be something about a child. There could be something about pregnancy. I'm also seeing a horse. Some of you may be getting a horse this month as well, or during this time period, or there may be talks of getting a horse. Some of you, interestingly enough, may see a horse randomly during this period as a symbol or as a signal from spirit, possibly about pregnancy, possibly about something new about to happen in your life, particularly to love. Especially if the, if the horse seems to take a liking to you. I know it's really specific. That's like super specific spirits. Thank you. <clears throat> Some of you are definitely making a lot of changes in your life. When it comes to structural changes, changes in your career, or you're wanting to make changes in your career, changes in your living situation. Some of you just want to live a more upgraded life, a more upgraded status. You want a more upgraded status. You want more freedom. You're working towards more freedom in your life. But I think what you're realizing is freedom comes from doing something consistently sticking to it and creating your freedom there's something here Sagittarius where you need to create your freedom I feel like you're on the path to creating your freedom A lot of you could just be really petty with people this month, too. Where people want you to, some people want you to participate in drama or just such uh, distracting behaviors. But I feel like you're like, nah, I'm going to focus my energies over here. 
and people some people just are not happy about you not being the old Sagittarius, whatever the old Sagittarius is to them. Like I said, you're growing out of certain patterns and habits here. Proud of you, Sag. Let's get some more clarification, all right? Remember, if you want a personal reading from me, I am available. You can check out my website, Lamar Challenge. Sagittarius. Sorry, my camera cut off. Remember, if you want a personal reading from me, I am available, LamarTownsandTarot.com. Purchase your reading directly from my website. I am here for you. You can also call me or text me at 703-791-9162. I'm on Eastern Standard Time. And we'll get your reading done the same day. Or within one to three days. Further clarification and insight for Sagittarius. October 1st through October Four of Cups here in the past position. I think this once again shows you being unhappy with like your life and your circumstances in the recent past. Maybe even up until the present. Maybe you're just not happy with the car you're driving. Type of, you know, community you live in. Or the type of friends you hang out with. There's something where you um, want to upgrade your status in life, Sag. Some of you could be putting stomach blocks in your own way. By being too closed minded, being too narrow minded, not being your natural risk taking optimistic self for some reason. Once again, it could be because of the people you sur you're surrounded by at this time. If you're surrounded by drama or stress, your environment is stressful. Some of you are investing in toxic relationships or toxic relationship because I feel like it is... You know what's interesting is the devil card is about vices. Sometimes toxic relationships can be vices for us. I feel like I mentioned this to you before, Sagittarius. There could be something about investing in toxic relationships as a vice. Make sure you subscribe. <clears throat> Also seeing something once again about a child. But there's also something about a child that comes with stress. Maybe it's unexpected. I'm also seeing something about a horse or a pet.
go, Sarge. What an amazing month, though. An amazing month, to be honest. For the most part. Definitely a month that comes with its own learning curve. Some of you are trying to be patient and wait for something. It's interesting, some of you could start talking to someone new, especially if you're single. Whether someone reaches out to you, you reach out to someone else. But it's interesting. I feel like if you... Don't you guys love when I say it's interesting? It's interesting because I feel like Sagittarius. If you start talking to someone new, I feel like they've been watching you and you've been watching them as well. So there is mutual attraction. Could be with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, male or female, although I get the knight and the queen. Could be a more mature woman here. Or someone who loves water, I'm, I'm getting interesting enough. It's either a water sign or someone who loves water. Someone who loves to be around water. Someone who loves animals in water. There's something about water with this person. Lives near water. Has a home near water. Oh, wait, I just said that. But you know how some people have, like, summer homes, and that's kind of what I meant. But love shows up, Sag. I think for some of you, love shows up unexpectedly. Like, maybe if you're coupled already, your partner shows up more, a little bit more needy. Something unexpected about love this month as well. Sad, this has been your reading. Your October 1st through the 15th reading. I hope it resonated. Thank you for trusting me as your reader. And I hope that you choose to subscribe. Like this video, comment, and share. Hit the bell next to the subscribe button so you get a notification the next time I go live and upload a brand new video. Make sure you follow me and like me on my social media pages. My Instagram is Lamar Townsend Tarot and my Facebook is Lamar Townsend Tarot. Contact me for your own personal reading on my website, lamartownsendtarot.com or call me or text me at 703-791-9162. I will see you in the next video, Sagittarius, or I'll see you for your own personal reading. Either way, I will see you. Love and light. Don't be a stranger. God bless and no stress and lots and lots of success.